Let's break down the HBCU National Game of the Week between North Carolina Central and Alabama State. Game's going to be played in Miami Gardens, Florida, the Orange Blossom Classic. Now, when I first heard this matchup, and generally it had been Jackson State and Florida A&M, you have no teams that are tied to Florida. Um, Jackson State travels as well as any HBCU in the country. But I think when you look at this matchup, the, the I think because it's already been established from a crowd perspective, I think you're going to get a lot of people from a crowd perspective that are going to come in. I think you'll have some people that will come from Durham to Miami Gardens. I think Alabama State's fan support is solid, particularly now with one of their own as the head football coach in Eddie Robinson Jr. So I think from a crowd perspective, this is going to be good. I think from a visual perspective, television wise, it's going to be good. You've got two excellent programs, one in which is just two years removed, meaning North Carolina Central, from being named HBCU National Champs. The other Alabama State, who on paper, in my opinion, may be the best team in all of HBCU football. So let's break this thing down. Let's start with North Carolina Central's offense. Um, you had an all-star quarterback, Davius Richard, uh, one of the best players when it's all said and done, I think, will be one of the best players in the history of HBCU football. When it's all said and done. Uh, but Walker Harris is now the quarterback. And this was named early, okay, early on. Uh, Trey Oliver said, this is our guy. He played in some, he played in, a, I think, nine, minimum nine games. He may have played in all the games last year, but he had a lot of experience. Five touchdowns to no interceptions on last year, did some really, really good things. Uh, North Carolina Central, obviously high on him. He's got a guy like a Joaquin Davis, wide receiver coming back. Jamari Taylor at the running back position, the offensive line should be solid. We'll see if there are enough weapons and we'll see how good, okay, how good really that, uh, that, um, that, that offense it really is for North Carolina Central. When I look at Alabama State, okay, and uh, from a defensive perspective, and I want to break it down sort of this way, um, boy, that's a really, really, really good defense. You already, okay, had some guys that really, really could get it done. You add now a Rico Dozier, one of the best players in the SWAC, uh, was an HBCU All-American at the linebacker position last year for Arkansas Pine Bluff. You know, you've got uh, all of these guys. Um, you know, you've got the Thomas kid, right? You've got, you know, Demarcus Cunningham at linebacker. Like this defense, even though you look lose like a Mikey Victor in the secondary, this defense is absolutely spectacular. All right, let me flip this thing because we're running out of time here a little bit. Um, I look at the offense for Alabama State, and I, I, I don't think it can be overstated how big a key that I think that, and by the way, you lose Colton Adams also on the defense. That's a huge loss. But again, bringing in Rico Dozier uh, for, at that linebacker position is huge. But offensively, Andrew Body, the quarterback for Texas Southern, brings so much to the table. And when we had a chance uh, to talk, of course, with Eddie Robinson uh, in the last segment, uh, you know, he talked about, well, yeah, you know, Andrew Body's good, but we've got another guy that's right there with him. Both of those guys have been competing. So, if, but in any event, Andrew Body can throw the football. He can run the football, put up a lot of numbers. He was just not on a very good Texas Southern team on last year. I think with the running situation, uh, should be pretty solid. Um, and that offensive line should be pretty solid also for Alabama State. When I look at North Carolina Central from a defensive perspective, look, only four starters returning. Some other guys are going to step up. I'm going to really have to step up. But I think it's an excellent coaching staff. From a defensive perspective, um, you know, Trey Oliver is a defensive-minded coach. 
So I think that the defense overall throughout the course of the season will be good. We'll just have to see how good it's going to be in this football game. It's going to have to be very, very good in this particular football game. First game of the season for both teams. I would also make mention that North Carolina Central is five and one since 2021 is five and one in nationally televised games. I don't mean streaming games. I mean on games that are on cable or are on national television or network television, as it were. Five and one. I think that's huge, including the victory in 2022 uh, on ABC in the Celebration Bowl um, against Jackson State, a huge win in overtime for North Carolina Central. I think that so the big lights aren't going to necessarily bother, uh, particularly gonna, not going to bother um, this Eagle football team. That said, I just think that the, especially a first football game, I think that Alabama State has more veterans. Um, a, a, a more, uh, when I look at the roster, especially in, in, you know, it's hard to break down. Okay. The entire roster in terms of top to bottom and looking at the overall depth, that's difficult is because you got new guys coming in. There's going to have to be some cohesion. And I'm talking about both football teams in this respect. But when you talk about the first 11, on either side of the football, I think Alabama State has the advantage right there. And I think that will show in this football game, uh, in the Orange Blossom Classic, I think it's going to be a good football game. I think it's going to be a close football game. But I like Alabama State to win the Orange Blossom Classic against the North Carolina Central Eagles.